going in to check out Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Good stuff, cheap. Looks like Doc Brown, huh? Free masks. Lots and lots of books, loads of books. Look at this Millennium Falcon book. Cool. We're gonna have to check for those, um, what's that book that people were talking about? The, the, the comic one, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to look for that. Ooh, what's this Star Wars thing? Sound treasure, we got a little big Oh, look at this thing. Like a weird wall there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Han Solo. Screaming Citadel. Star Wars Epic Collection. The New Republic Legends. Star Wars Newspaper Strips. Look at that. Huh. Star Wars hardcover. Nice. I'm gonna have to look through these and see what kind of deals we can get. What's this giant Marvel book? Future Marvel Comics is now $14.99. Huh. Ooh, look at this retro Ghostbusters thing. Huh. So looking through these, I've managed to find this pretty cool set. Star Wars New Republic Legends, the Epic Collection. Volumes two and three, five ninety nine each. But I can't find a volume one. And then we have the newspaper strips, volume one. But then I can't. It advertises up to volume three. I can't find volume two or three of that. So I might just get volume one. Oh, should I get those? I think I have all those comics though individually. I don't know. That's pretty cool in those books though, isn't it? <laughs> thing is that I've also seen this Marvel book. Actually, everything you need to know for $4.99. Looks cool. Kinda neat. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's kinda neat. I wish they had that big book that uh, Shabby was showing off though. Comic book sets. Oh my gosh, GoBots comic books. Interesting. We're finding these toys now, Nerf. Puzzles and games. We got some Star Wars things. $3.99 for a Darth Vader. Kevin Owens, Daniel O'Brien, $5.99. Turtles, Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo. 
Let's go. It's four ninety nine. Can we get the set for four ninety nine inch? Huh. That's a consideration. Getting a set of turtles. Four ninety nine each. Incredibles. They're not bad figures. So the Han Solo force effects, we got the little circle ones, right? Oh, here's some. We gotta have this. It's Yoda. We gotta have the Yoda one. Look at that. The Rex. Or the, this says 501st, but it's gonna be the, um, what do you call it? The, oh, give me a break. Yeah, it's gonna be Captain Rex in the new one, right? What else do they have? Luke Skywalker, the Stormtrooper one. And another Luke Skywalker back there. This is cool, but why is it 249? I'm not paying 249 for that. I don't know how much the Star Wars ones are. It's on the 501st, so 299. Uh, that's still too much for me. I'm not paying 299. <laughs> You guys are probably out there. You're crazy. Huh. Oh, here's the Lando one. Look at that. I think it looks better in blue. I do. I think it looks better in blue. Huh. $2.99 again. Let's see what we got on this side. DC Multiverse figures, Metal, $15.99. Those look really cool, that's a consideration. Star Wars there. That's it for so you found? So far that's all I found. What is it? Yoda. It's a Yoda potato head. Oh. I went through all the books first. I was looking at them. I found the Superman stuff, but, but I think it's <laughs> what you already have. The Monster Jam Grave Digger. That's cool. Oh my gosh, look at these models. Dude, if you were into models, this has to be. That's amazing. It's a cool Jeep. Oh my god, I'm going to cause chaos here. Oh my gosh. These kind of things are really cool. I would, I would love them when I was a kid. Corpse. The corpse was over in the UK, right? Wasn't it? What's this Justice League thing? Oh my gosh, that's the Flying Fox. Place it. How much is this? $19.99?
Oh, that's coming home with me for $20? That's coming home with me. No way. <laughs> wow, oh, we're gonna get a cart. We need a cart. All right. Uh, kitty toys here, I guess. Oh, Ray thing. Did I miss something? I, mean, I feel like I missed the good Star Wars section. I don't know. No, I'm not going to dance with you today. Let's look down here. What do we got over here? Harry Potter, Batman, Disney. Oh, look at that. I might get this. I haven't seen this in a while. More corpse guys in a cool jet and then helicopter and a tank. Look at this tank. The time Crisis comic. The corpse. That's a cool tank. $7.99. Lego Dimensions. Look at the shark eating a boat. We were just in, you know, I guess we weren't in here, but it's still like young kid stuff. And then we're into, huh. Hmm. So where are these vintage collection figures that were supposedly here? They would have been in this aisle, wouldn't they? Of course, the one that I can get to doesn't have vintage collection figures, do they? We've got thousands of them, people were saying online. <laughs> hmm. So how much are these? $5.99 for the two packs. $3.99 for the ones in the like round things. And you can get Ray and Obi-Wan in there. As far as the two packs go, these are all Chira and Bays, which I have a couple of at home. I still have a couple of those two packs. Oh, look at this guy. Screen Slaver. Huh. He looks cool. Not even the ton of uh, Transformers people were talking about either. Like they were saying there was Siege, all these Siege Transformers, and they're not here either. Uh, 
Jurassic Clash. I'm really curious about the turtles. I mean, what do we got? Afeo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. So we could get all four. Huh. Hmm. Dad was looking at crock pots. We found a crock pot for 1999, and there's a Superman crock pot, which is probably no better than the one we have at home. But it's Superman, 12.99. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. I think I'm getting the turtles. So I found another rack of these super soakers and things, and I noticed way over there is a thing with Black Panther on it. So I'm gonna wander the store and see if there's another spot with toys. There's these models here again. Look at this submarine. It's freaking cool. It's awesome. These are massive too. Way back by the carpeting there's another display of like really young kids toys. You can get that baby that caught on fire, Jack Jacks. Still no Star Wars Vintage Collection though. Got some odds and ends of coloring things. There's a Black Panther art set. And a Star Wars collectible tin with crayons. Look at that. Ooh, a Stormtrooper one. Hmm. I don't need crayons though, do I? The tin's pretty cool though. Hmm. Wish it was cheaper. Five bucks? Eh, I don't know. Transformers chalk set. Neat. Starscream and Optimus Prime. Cool. The BB-8 How to Draw thing. Neat. Interesting. Well, that's it. One last look through here, I guess, and it's all the toys we got. I mean, we don't. No Star Wars Black Series, no Star Wars Vintage Collection, no Transformers from Siege or any of that. So the things that I heard online that got me to come up here this particular store does not actually have. However, we did find some good things, didn't we? We'll see. We'll see when we get home and we look at it all. All right. This is still tempting though, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Huh, 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 huh. Tempting, tempting, tempting. All right. Goodbye, Ollie's. Thanks for the sumo deals. Uh, thrift store, and there's an Anakin Starfighter, and this is that General Grievous fighter in there. Plus, it's a Batman ship with Batman in it. Four ninety nine. So I gotta get it. Some other random things. A princess castle, and giant Mickey Mouse. Hmm. I know I recognize these. I had like this baboon guy. I'm pretty sure I had him when I was a kid. And this bear. Like these might be vintage. Look at this, this one. These might be vintage animals. I, I feel like I had some of these when I was a kid. I mean, that's new. That's from Frozen. Some of these other things in here could be like, oh, like that, that one. 
That could be like 50 years old. 40 or 50 years old. Oh. $4.99. Do I grab it and gamble and see? Hmm. Your destiny to be mine, a Darth Vader. Oh my god, thing. Paw Patrol? Is that what those are? Paw Patrol? Hmm. Now we're at Ross, so we got a big Hulk. Lots more dinosaurs at Ross. Batman pop. Who's on behind? There's the transformer back there. And it's side swap. Seven ninety nine. Ooh. We have a coffee in Torelli. You know these sell for like $30, $35 online, right? $5.99. So that's definitely coming home and going on eBay. Hmm. Maybe side swipe. I don't know. Let's see what else is here. That's really it, I think. Yeah, I might as well get the side swipe in the... Yeah, I guess that's it, right? Well, here's another one. Star screen. I got a couple star screens the last time. Do I need another one? Hmm. All right. Monster high and side swipe might be it. A little digging around, there's a Springer and a Hound. So we're definitely getting Springer and Hound. I think since I've got two or three Star Screams already, we're gonna leave that one. But maybe the other ones are coming home with me. All right, so here we are back home after the visit to Ollie's. I wanna show you why we went up there. This was the reason we were going to Ollie's. Star Wars Vintage Collection figures, $3.99. None of them were there. Thor collectibles, Marvel Legends, two packs, $12.99. None of them were there. <laughs> so we were hoping we'd find that kind of stuff. But instead at Ollie's, we got, we picked up a Yoda item that I don't own. Yoda Play School Friends, uh, Mr. Potato Head. So anytime I can get a Yoda item, I'm happy. I love this, that's pretty cool. We did end up pulling the trigger on the on the turtles because we could get all four. I've seen these at thrift stores and things and uh, discount stores, but usually I only see one of the turtles. And I always said to myself, I'm not going to buy just one or two. I'd like to have all four. And this is it. And this is from the from that series. Do you remember that series? I have this guy, the Krang, because I usually only get Krang. But... You know, for five bucks each, I'm happy to have the turtles carded. You know, I'm I'm not. It's pretty cool, I think. You know, and as with everything, I think a lot of people will be kicking themselves for not buying those. You know, a few years down the road. Also picked up this uh, Ezra Bridger with his lightsaber and the speeder bike, um, $8. I haven't seen one of these out and about in years. So I just figured since I saw it, why not, right? Pretty cool. As are in his speeder, has some special features there. This would have been the really cool one to get because this driver is awesome, this action figure. The Imperial driver there is really cool. And then the last thing is this monster. I don't even know if we can properly show this with the way the camera is. But it's got eight play zones. 
cockpit fits most six inch action figures. Wow, this is scaled for six inch, holy cow. Zip line, a trap, and ejection doors. It's got a trap door, trap door and ejection seats. A diagnostic center with the chair. It looks like he can sit down in there. Mission control area. A weaponry station with weapons that fit on the six inch figures. And hidden cannons, cargo and deployment ramps. This is um, absolutely gigantic. It is the Justice League Flying Fox. It's just massive. I can't even fit it in the camera. It's <laughs> just, just, just incredibly huge. And uh, this side shows the same thing. And there you go. Look at that. Twenty. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Can you believe that? Wow. Oh, it's absolutely massive. I don't know how I'm, what I'm going to do with it. Then let's see. We ran over to Ross. Got Springer. We got Hound. And we got Sideswipe. So that's pretty cool. Could use another one of those. And we picked up Torley, Daughter of the Werecat, from Monster High. Because I've had, I've had a few other Monster High figures that I've picked up at thrift stores and discount stores. Usually get them five, six dollars like this. And they've sold for between 25 and 35 dollars. So I'm hoping this is another 35 dollar one. And, uh, you know, turn five or six bucks into 30 bucks, not bad. And then the thrift store. These $4.99 toys in the bags that we got. So we saw Anakin Starfighter in there. Landing gear that work. And you pull this lever in the back one way or the other. And the, the wings, well... <laughs> they sometimes pop up. Looks like this one has a little bit of defects. It's missing the R2 unit, missing the canopy. This is going to be a hard sell. Um, I don't keep Starfighters like this. I, I'm not a fan of this design that much. So I usually sell these on eBay. But in this shape, I mean, I'm going to be lucky if I get $10 for it. I'll be lucky if I get $10 for it. Real lucky. So it's not the greatest pick of the haul. But this is what I was looking at. It comes with its canopy. It even has the controls still in it. These controls could come out to fit the figure in easier. And quite often they got lost. The canopy would be lost. This will go for a good amount on eBay now. Because this is a really nice ship. Really cool. The landing gear still work. If I say that, and then I have trouble putting them in. So you put them in. And then the uh, when you after takeoff, this is the rear landing gear. But after takeoff, this comes down, if you remember in the movie. And it flies like that. Obi-Wan stole this ship after he defeated uh um, General Grievous. So, really cool ship. I might keep this in the collection for a little while before moving on, letting it move on to eBay or whatever. We also got a couple of Batman things. This cool Batman ship. And I don't know what it does. It folds up like that. And it, it can clip and fold down like this. So I think it went into something because this has a, a button that moves. It activates this lever down here. So I think it went into something and then would pop out. So it was, it's like half the vehicle. And this is the flying half. And then we have same with this kind of thing here. This 
must have gone into something and then it would fly out like as part of the flying part of the craft. This probably went into a Batmobile or something like that, I would imagine. But so we have half the craft there. Again, I have no idea what those are going to go for, but they're going to be eBayed. We have a cool Tomcat with the wings that fly out. And it's a pullback and zoom kind of thing. This zooms when you pull it back, it zooms. I don't know what I'll do with that. A little tiny, uh, whatever, F-22. This is the kind of thing that Starscream was in the new movies. We have what looks like a Hot Wheels or Matchbox um, stunt plane. And we have a World War II twin, what were these like? I forgot what they were called, but they're really cool planes from World War II with the dual fuselage and everything. Just a metal die cast model. Plastic tank. Went with all the uh, standard little army men type size guys. Pretty neat. Now you remember in the store, I was looking at these animals and saying, I really, I feel like some of them were from my childhood. Well, I must have been mistaken, at least on some of them. Because these, these style ones are dated as 2003 to 2005. We've got a monkey. We've got a tiger. These are all like poseable, 5 POA. The heads move and everything, tail moves. So 6 POA, legs move. Um, so those two, the bear... There's a bear here that's pretty interesting because his head can go that way or that way. So you can have him in four legs or two legs. And there's an orangutan. All 2000, I'm gonna keep the orangutan no matter what, cause that's cool. And a um, kangaroo. They're all from 2003 to 2005. But then you've got these other ones like this one and this one, which are from the 70s. So these, like, I feel like I distinctly remember having this one when I was a kid, and that very well could be. And it turns out that these two are from the 70s, and they're made out of different plastic. You can feel it if you have them in your hands. And then we have these interesting bugs. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this stuff. Um, can I sell these on eBay? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll have to do some research on the bugs and find out what year they're from and everything and determine what we can do with them. But the other interesting thing in the $5 bag with those animals was these briar horses. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with briar, but sometimes you have a gold piece of gold when you find a briar horse. So we're gonna have to do research these two, two of them actually have the saddles. So that's cool. I mean, it's, I mean, finding them with the accessories is even harder than finding a briar horse in good shape. Usually their ears are broken off or their tails busted. One foot is usually broken off. So you don't find briar horses in good shape like this that often. And I mean, a quick search, this one of these, with the saddle was going for $60 on eBay. So I may have just turned five bucks into six, what, like $150 here. <laughs> that $5, $4.99 buy, what was it, $4.99, yeah, right? That's what it said on the tag. May have just turned into, between those three horses, about $150. So. And that's not including what I get for the Star Wars stuff and the Batman things and other whatever. So we could have made a pretty good haul today. <laughs> we could have, we could end up making out pretty good here. You know, there's a lot here I'm gonna keep and there's also a lot here that I'm gonna sell on eBay. So really nice, really cool. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you next time. Share your like the, like latest finds. Let me know what you guys come up with. 
All right, we'll see you.